name Aiden, you would kill her. Wait, huh? I saw the light. Good afternoon, everybody, or good morning, or good evening. From whatever time you're watching this video, welcome back. If you guys didn't watch the last vlog, go and check it out. We've got Luke over here. Luke, what are you working on? A little bit of everything? Yeah, do all the finishing touches before we can send this thing off to paint. And we're really close. I'm excited. Today, We've got a little bit of 34 content and a little bit of S15 content. If you guys didn't watch the last video, let me give you guys a little rundown. We installed some underglow and look, nothing is visible. It looks pretty clean. A lot of people install underglow. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna show you guys Luke's setup. <laughs> Luke didn't care. So he just had it on the bumper. The car is super low, and I think probably one scrape, this is all coming off, and I think it's very important to me, so we spent an entire video trying to figure out how to make it clean, and it looks good. Look at this. You can't see nothing. We also tucked away the harness and everything very nicely. Look at that. What's up, Emmy? You wanna tell them what we're gonna be working on today? Actually, before that, let me give you guys a little sneak peek on what we are releasing. Check this out. Emmy's been laying all over it. She loves this thing. These are actually handmade floor mats. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna... Emmy! <laughs> she threw up on the floor mat, bro! <laughs> it's okay. This is just a sample. But don't mind the little yak in the corner. This is handmade, and we are gonna be releasing these real soon. Uh, we're gonna do very limited quantities. You know, if you guys haven't noticed, we're not restocking on stuff anymore. Once things sell out, they're sold out forever, like the Cherry Blossom Nobori flags. We just want to take our brand to the next level and just restocking and restocking over and over just makes our product not as exclusive, not as desirable, and we want to make you guys feel special when you guys purchase our stuff. So, I think we're probably gonna make anywhere from 50 to 100 of these mats, but let me know what you guys think. I gotta put the camera down and clean up her yak. That's one thing I will never understand about dogs. It's like they'll throw it up and like literally eat it. Just imagine us throwing up into the toilet and just grabbing a cup and just... <laughs> Much better. It's okay, Emmy. Are you full again after eating again? <laughs> Back to what I was saying though, just know that if you guys have purchased anything off the website, most of these things will not return. And that's what makes having our merch even more special. So I was just talking to our viewers about like dropping, you know, exclusive merch, what we've been kind of doing. Yeah. We just haven't announced it to you guys. But since you're here, yes. Mr. Born to Die himself, oh, yeah. oh yup, oh yup. You guys probably already follow him on Instagram, but if you don't, check him out right here. I'm gonna leave a link right here. This is Carlos's brand, and Carlos is here. What's your job here at Eliminate? So basically, um, my job is over there. It's doing all the vinyl work, all the banners that we've been releasing lately. So right now, we're working on a new design that Randy will talk to you guys about in a sec. Basically, Carlos is here as our creative guy to come up with our exclusive drops. Today, before we start with the S15, I know you guys want Eliminate banners, but we like to keep those exclusive for the homies and everybody in the crew. But I think something really cool that we should release today are like support banners. So, you know what, let's kind of go through this together. Yeah. Look at KJ right there. Support banner. 
Yup. <laughs> and we gotta make them clean too. I think we're gonna make them better than the eliminate banners. I'll take you guys with us on a little behind the scenes on how we make this stuff. And uh, maybe I can learn something today too. Yeah. Cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. Look at our team now. Solid. Everybody working hard to get your guys' orders out. And look at the boss man overseeing everybody. <laughs> what are you standing on? Make sure nobody slack off. I'm loading. <laughs> okay. Chris Angel. Chris Angel. What the hell? <laughs> That's David Blaine. <laughs> Here it is, guys. Here's the little mock up. I know it's not gonna look like much right now, but I think it's gonna look clean once we cut it. All vinyl stuff is done in house and packaged by us as well, too. So, you know what? Let's just print it, do a little test fit, and see if we should improve anything. Because the mock ups on the computer never look the same as, you know? Yeah, we're gonna have to play with it, mess around, see what will look perfect, actually. Yeah, I don't know if this is too small or if it's perfect, but we also left room because this is gonna be a universal banner. So it's gonna hang off, and it also it's gonna go over just a little bit so that you can cut it and it should work with any car. Went through, made it look a little bit better. Now let's get this file over to the vinyl cutter. So there it is. All we gotta do is hit cut now. And now we wait, right? Yeah. Just wait until that's just like fully done. It shouldn't be too long. It's easy. Done. Cool. I like this machine. <laughs> so this process right here is called weeding. Let me make some TikTok video right there. Okay, go ahead and grab it. ASMR. <laughs> Oddly satisfying. <laughs> Hey, you're pretty good at that, Carlos. Been doing this for like, what, three years now? Yo, that is pretty satisfying. So we have to go through and literally weed all of the pieces that we aren't gonna use. Yeah. Just like that, guys, we are done. Well, ju not just like that. Getting the transfer paper on was actually pretty tricky, but we got it on pretty well. Now, let's install this onto the car and uh, see how it looks. Because this point and that point just needs to match. Yeah. So I always line it up right there and then. Okay. Right? So you're going to measure and then. So good. Look at that. Air bubbles are perfectly normal, guys. Not everybody is gonna be completely amazing at applying vinyl, but the cool thing is uh, you can literally poke it with a needle, and if you drive around in the sun, it'll literally disappear. Now we get to go back, you know, clean up the edges real quick, and we'll cut right there. I think Emmy likes it. So uh, for this area, guys, uh, I've never done this yet, so we're gonna find out together. But I'm suspecting that if, if we hit this part with the heat gun, we'll be able to push it into the cracks and be able to cut everything. That is nice too with the light. Hey, it looks good, huh? Yeah, the SKT looks crazy now with that thing. Hey, should we throw on the NSX? All right. Heat it real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Look at that, easy. Remember, don't worry about air bubbles. They all come out. Poke hole. Poke hole. Poke hole. Yeah, what air bubble? See what air bubble? Yeah, where'd it go? I'm telling you, bro. Sheesh, dude. That looks actually pretty damn good. Good job, Carlos. Yes, sir. Damn, look at that collab. What do you boys think? Yeah. Looks good, huh? Very subtle. Yep, that's the whole point of it. This is literally perfect for cars with huge windshields. It'll literally block the sun from just shining. Let me show you guys what it actually looks like inside though. That actually looks pretty good and it makes the interior look 
that much better too. Should we throw these up on the website right now? I think we should. All right, right you now. know what? You guys know what to do. Head to the website. Every dollar spent is double entries towards winning the GTR and the S14, and the giveaway is ending soon. I think uh, once we sell out in these, we're not gonna bring them back. So, head to the website. All right guys, now time for the first power mod for the S15. Not first official mod because, you know, there are already a few mods to the S15, but my first official power mod, I guess you can say, under my ownership. Today, we are gonna be upgrading the turbo. Also guys, all of the blue in the engine bay has got to go. I just wanna keep it nice and clean and just black. The new turbo that's gonna be going in, if you guys recognize this, you would know that it's from the Bad Luck S13. That car is not running anytime soon, so uh, we're gonna steal this, throw it into the S15, and for the Bad Luck S15, when it's no longer Bad Luck, we'll do a top mount turbo, because that car has the fully built SR. And uh, you know what? Since it's not running, that means we got free car parts. This is the 2871R Garrett Turbo. And to finish it off, we got the Tomei Turbo Elbow as well. Straight drop in. And then we're gonna swap out the intake manifold. Where are those pliers, Chinito? What? Wait, you're from San Jose, you don't know what that means? No. Where are the, the pliers? The Dan, do you know boys? what that means? Huh? I didn't hear what he said. <laughs> See, because he doesn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I said, where are the pliers, little Chinese boy? It's crazy, the, the Hispanic community will say Chinito to any Asian. Yeah. <laughs> I grew up, that's, that was my nickname, I was Chinito. Out, I give out for that. <laughs> Nah, I don't say it. I, I think that was my. I think that was my name in middle school. <laughs> <laughs> that was all Ch our names in middle school. Chinito, Chinito, and he's yeah. Wero. <laughs> yeah. There's the turbo. Looks like the T28. Fun fact: Sunny's car makes 300 wheel horsepower, and the S15 actually whooped him in a race. So this car was making a little over 300. Let's see if we can knock that up just a bit with this turbo. Time to drain the oil. You know what guys, while we are here and we're upgrading stuff anyways, this radiator has got to go. And guess where we're gonna steal the new radiator from? from the junkyard. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, even though I was laughing, it kind of hurt anyways. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> but at least it's going to a new park. Yeah, so technically the bad luck Esther, no, that's not even associate bad luck with S15. <laughs> uh, we're gonna steal the radiator from the bad luck S13 and put it in the good luck S15. It's manifesting this, all right? What are you looking at, Roy? <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Emmy gets jealous every time I pet Roy. Thomas, can you explain to the viewers what you are doing? Go. So these fins are crooked. We got six in it. Like this. I saw this on TikTok, by the way. <laughs> you saw this on TikTok? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're fixing so next time we hit a cat, you know, it won't be that much of a difference. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'll let you go. Easy. Oh, uh, goodbye. Ugly blue grounding kit. All the blue has got to go, and the new turbo is in as well. Finally, I also stole one more thing from the S13. That's the old intake manifold. We also stole the Gretti intake manifold as well. This thing is about 
to look amazing. Hmm? Oh, it's not, it's not on. You stole that too, though? Yeah, oh yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, that is a wrap for today's video. I'm over it. The car is literally almost ready for the tune, and she'll be back. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We've got the Eliminate Cargos back in stock and a whole bunch more. That is it. <sighs> time to go enjoy the night. It's our homie's birthday and it's time to black out or back out. <laughs> Later, guys.